What's going on guys, Matt Schaefer back here with another Musaic radar and laser integration job for you. This one here in a 2022 Mercedes GLE 53, so let's check it out. First off, I want to apologize, it's pretty windy out here, so I'll try and get through the outside as quick as possible, but we always do hidden integration where it's stealthed into the bumper. AL priority for the front laser. The TX is right here behind this IR acrylic panel and the picture here shows the tx it's literally embedded into the factory bumper and then we made this cover plate so it completely hides it and then this panel that you see here on the bumper was made and it houses these two rx ale priority sensors and i can overlay a picture here so you can see what it looks like and then we basically finished off the bumper with our magnetic cover so there's magnets embedded onto the back of the factory cover. And basically it's a screwless insulation. So there's no screws lagging in to the bumper, which is really cool. So you can put it on, the, if your state requires a front license plate, you can put it on exactly whenever you need it. If you wanna show the car without a license plate, you can show it without screw holes in the bumper. But again, I have acrylic cover here. And I'll just go back. So when you're looking at the front, you literally see nothing. Uh, the radar is right up here behind the bumper. And then going to the rear, we have two more RX sensors. Again, sorry for the wind, it's very windy out today. Um, this is your rear license plate. And we actually didn't have to take the bumper off because we could have the wires go right through. The radar is underneath the bumper bolted to one of the brackets obviously not behind metal so right behind this area here so again the install on the at least the rear bumper was very easy we have our license plate cover here which is ir acrylic and then at the top is holding our rx sensors again apologize for the wind it's so windy out here right now so this is actually magnetic and there you can see the two diffusers, and then basically your license plate is going to mount to here. That's just a dummy plate insert that I have. And then the back of this has your magnets. So that's how it works. Put that back on, sucks up into place, and you're good to go. Now for the inside, I'll go ahead and turn everything off so you can see what it looks like when I turn everything on. This is the interior of the car so again it's always a challenge to integrate in and figure out a way that's going to make everything look factory so turn the switch back on our master power off switch that's your al priority led that's your escort max ci display so as you can see we kind of mimic this top panel here we added this bottom piece so when the switch is off or the master power switch is off that is just a black display right looks a lot like this, looks a lot like this, looks a lot like this when that's off. So that kind of gives you the idea. We have both GPS sensors behind this panel here taken out of the casing attached to the windshield. So that is where our GPS is getting its coordinates. And like I said, we used Escort for radar and we use AL Priority for laser. The reason we do that is the Escort in my opinion, has the best filtering out of any of the radar units, and the AL Priority has the best laser shifting out of anything on the market. Our cover is in here. So this is inside the center console. We have a magnetized cover that comes off, Alcantara suede, and then we have both of our controllers right underneath the panel. So both of these work through Bluetooth, so you don't really have to touch anything on the fly as they work through Bluetooth. But if you need to access the controllers for whatever reason, change any modes not through the through your phone or through Bluetooth, you can access them right here, which again, that's magnetized, sucks into place, and you're good to go. You would never know anything is different in here from that of the factory. So if you're new into the whole radar and laser side of things, things have changed a lot from where they were you know, 10, 15 years ago. 10, 15 years ago, there weren't cars with adaptive cruise control, with collision avoidance, with a lot of these radar features on each vehicle. So that's why radar filtering is so very important. And when your system is going off, you wanna know it's going off for a reason, not because there's a, you know, a Volvo behind you at a light 
or an Audi driving next to you or whatever it may be, something with collision avoidance setting off your system. So Escort, again, in my opinion, they do the best job when it comes to radar filtering. Also, I really do like the display and integrating it into different vehicles. The AL Priority just uses a single LED. Right now it's yellow, which tells you it is not into laser defense mode. It's yellow saying that it's dormant and it uses the GPS signal in order to tell you that you're, or to tell the system that you're going over certain speed, which then can turn the laser defense on, right? So over about 21, 22 miles an hour, you'll see this LED turn blue. And when it's blue, it is in defense mode. So again, if you're physically driving, it'll work. It'll shift up to four seconds after you're hit. And then it'll let the signal come through, letting you know that, or letting the cop know that he can get a reading on the car, giving you enough time to slow down. So as you drive by him, he doesn't have an idea that you have anything physically in the vehicle. So the cops will tell you that they can pick this stuff up or they can pick up the radar system that is true for a lot of the older systems where they would they would bleed a certain signal, which they could pick, pick up on their specter. Uh, but these newer systems, they do not have that bleed over, which the older systems did. So there's truth to what they're saying, but that's also talking about very old technology. So again, both of these are also firmware updatable that update against the, you know, the current things of what you might run into. Like with AL Priority, they might have an update that will uh, improve the algorithms of how the defense and the shifters are actually shifting. So just keep that in mind. These are updatable and these systems, you know, should not go out of date anytime soon. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for checking out the video as usual. If you want to get a hold of me regarding a job, here's my email followed by my phone number. These are the two best points of contact for me. Also, if you're new, check out our website, mosaicdesign.com. We have a radar tab on there that you can check out all the different radar jobs that we've done. If you want to see us, see if we've integrated it into a car that you already own, uh, you can certainly look there to see what we've done in other vehicles. Obviously, if you're new to the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you're notified anytime that we drop a new video. We drop radar videos, audio videos all the time. So if you want to be the first to hear when something drops, go ahead and click that notification bell. Make sure you follow our TikTok. I always drop little videos on here, especially on radar, where you can see the progress of these things being made. Also, make sure you follow us on Instagram. And like always, guys, I appreciate it. And until next time.